Okay, this is a video on how to find the ringtones on your violin. So a ringtone is a note that rings almost like an open string because it is the same note as an open string. So by ring, I mean you play the note and you can hear the vibrations after you stop playing the note. So an example is, let's just do the open strings. If I pluck, I'm gonna pluck the A and then let's listen to see how long we hear it after. I heard it for at least four seconds after, before it was silent. Let's do it again, ready? Two, three, four. About four seconds, let's try G and let's see. You can experiment and see how long, if you do a nice pizzicato on your violin, how long it rings. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I heard it for six seconds on the G. So my G is a little more resonant than my A. Okay, so the strings we have are G, D, A, and E. This is gonna help have better tone, but it's also gonna help you to hear notes better in tune. So assuming your violin's in tune. Actually, let's just do, I'm gonna do a ringtone demonstrate with, a, with the bow. So I'm first gonna do an off the string example. So I'm gonna play the note and then circle my bow off. Two. I felt it ring all the way and heard it for eight seconds with the bow. If you leave the bow on the string, it will still ring, but it won't, the, the leaving the bow on will dampen a little bit so it won't be as long. So let's just see that. Almost no ring on the open string. Um, when we do it with, the fingers, there'll be a little bit extra ring um, because even when you leave the bow on. So let's talk about G string. You have two ring tones on G. You have this one, because one on G is the note A. So it's the same as the A string. So that's a ring tone. Let's find that one. Two, three, four. You heard it ring? Three, four. Now, it's ringing because my finger is in tune. I'm going to make it out of tune. It almost didn't even ring for two seconds because it's out of tune. But if I put it in the same spot as that open A, two, three, four, about four seconds I get of ring. So I want you to experiment with that. The other ringtone on G is the fourth finger. So if you find that in tune, here we go, ready? Two, three, four, five, almost five. Now watch, I'll make it out of tune. Almost nothing. So this is a way, an indicator as to if your notes are right or wrong, not using tapes on your violin or whatever. There are three ringtones on D string. The first finger is E, so it's the same as the E. Two, three, four. And then the third finger, Four seconds I'm getting on my violin. Um, on a better violin, maybe it would do more. Um, I'm gonna do it with the bow, leave the bow on the string. Two, three, four, five. Wow, I got five seconds and the bow, le I left the Three, four, five. So the ring is making your, it will make your violin sound more resonant and vibrant and louder and it's indicating that the note is in tune. So this is a very good technique to be listening to. There's the open A. Need a little higher, ready? Two, three, four. 
Okay, so then on A string, you have two ringtones. The third finger D, because it's the same as a D string. Two, three, four, five. And then the fourth finger E. Two, three, four, I'm getting for a good four seconds. And then E string, you have the G natural, the low two, and the third finger, the A. So G, if you want to be listening. Two. I'm only getting, it's a thinner string. Let's try this one. Two, three, about three seconds on that note. Two, three, four, three. That rang a little bit more. I left it on the string. I also did vibrato, which helped it. But this is something that you should be listening for when you're practicing and those specific ringtone notes when you, they come in pieces and scales.